As of 11 a.m. Wednesday, 308 new COVID-19 cases have been reported in Armenia. A total of 37,937 cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in the country as of Wednesday morning. The total number of tests conducted so far is 160,380, and 1,853 of them were performed in the past one day. In total, 723 patients, an increase by four in the past day, have died so far of this disease. And according to latest data, 27,824 people with 460 seven people on the last day have recovered thus far in Armenia. The relative calm was maintained on the armenian azerbaijan state border on the night of July 28th and 29th and this morning. Armenian Defense Ministry spokesperson Shushan Stepanyan wrote about this on her Facebook. The Azerbaijani side violated the ceasefire regime 22 times with firearms, firing 497 shots toward the Armenian positions, she added in particular. In an interview with CNN Turk, Ibrahim Kalın, the spokesperson for Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, spoke about Armenia-Azerbaijan issues too. In this regard, Kalın stressed that Erdogan, in a conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin, noted that Armenia was the, and we quote, invading party in the conflict. In a conversation with Putin, Erdogan asked Putin to use his ties with Armenia to ease the Armenian-Azerbaijani border tension. Yes, Turkey will be by Azerbaijan's side until the end, wherever the danger comes from, but that does not mean closing the diplomatic channels, Ibrahim Kalin noted. Diana Hovsepian, one of the former employees of Lydian Armenia Company, told reporters that they have not been working for a long time because of a group of activists, as the Amusar gold mine has not been operating since 2018. According to her, several inspections have already been conducted at Amusar and no violations have been found there. And Armen Melkumian, the lawyer of Lydian Armenia's former employees, informed that the lawsuit of 36 ex-employees had already been submitted to the administrative court and the first court session will be on August the 6th. Another 86 people have joined this lawsuit. Our demand is to recognize the inactivity of the mine as illegal. If there will be no judicial act in our favor, we have the opportunity to submit this lawsuit to the ECHR, Malkumyan added in particular. Famous Turkish actress Songül Oden has married Armenian business from Turkey Arman Bıçakçı, Harvel reported, referring to the Turkish press. The couple had been together for four years and finally decided to legalize their relationship. A modest wedding ceremony was held at the Beşiktaş City Hall in Istanbul.